Okay. Okie dokie. As you can tell, if you were with us in our new product launch a couple minutes ago, we've moved locations. <laughs> um, and Laura may come in and out here um, as she figures out some technical difficulties. So no worries if, yeah. if you see her popping in and out. Um, but welcome to our reading sprints for March. Um, we're excited to get started on our March read, which is Mandy, which is a middle grade read um, for, uh, mm -hmm. excuse me, written by Julie Andrews Edwards. Um, I actually won't be reading that book <laughs> because I don't have it yet. Um, but I think, Laura, I think you're going to be reading it. And I think Andy mentioned that she would be reading it as well. Um, hello, Krista. I yes, have we 700 are. pages left. I'm almost done. Oh, my gosh. So you've already started. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm actually going to be reading. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, good. We'll let us all know how good it is. Andy's here. Hello, hello. Jesse's here. Mm -hmm. Kim is here. Hi, hello, welcome. Krista. And Jess. Nice to see and all Kim. Hello. Oh, good. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. I'm really loving it yeah. too. It's so sweet. Oh, yeah. And Mary's here. I'm happy to have a copy. Hello, Mary. Yeah, I love middle grade March because I feel so motivated. And I think it's because you can get through so many books that you're just like, I don't care if these middle grade, they're great books. And it like gets me ready for April. I don't know why, but that's just how I feel. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually um, in the comments. Yeah, let us know what you'll be reading. I know Andy's reading Mandy, Laura's reading Mandy. I'm actually going to be reading Echo, um, which I have already started. I think I'm like 36% in, maybe? I'll have to look when it pops up. But I'm going to listen to that. So I'm listening to that on audiobook. And so far, it is really good. It is not at all what I thought it was about <laughs> at all. And I, okay, as I started reading, I don't know that I ever actually heard what this was about. For some reason, I thought this was about like a robot, <laughs> like an alien robot. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't okay. know why. Is there a movie that is about an alien robot called Echo? Like, because <laughs> it's not. This is a World I don't War know. II. Yeah. I don't know. It's a Who's the author? This is um, Pam. Um, I can't see because the reflection. Pam mm, uh, Munaz. Munaz. Ryan, Pam Munaz Ryan. It's excellent. It's a World War II um, slash other things okay. book. It's good. It's really good. Oh. Um, not gonna read. Ooh, seven books. Good. So you're on. You're on schedule. Wow. How's Wait, Jordan doing? Oh, Krista, that's awesome. I hope he's doing well. Yeah. I know he was just in the hospital. I don't know. I can't remember if I saw if he's out yet, but I, I hope he is doing well. So prayers are with you and Jordan. Good. Kim's starting, Mandy. Yay. You're going to try to finish the mm -hmm. year of Miss Agnes and also want to continue the hollow. Yeah, I saw oh, you nice. had a bunch of Agatha Christie books lined up. So Krista, I'm telling you, and I saw you talk about this book, and I saw Amanda talk about this book, and I don't know, for some reason, like, I saw you talk about it, but I, I evidently, I was not listening, <laughs> because as soon as I started listening to this book, I'm like, okay, so he's in the woods, when's the robot gonna appear? <laughs> <laughs> not about a robot. <laughs> yeah. 
And let me no, tell you, I'm, I'm I'm way happier that it's not about a robot. So we're all good there. <laughs> because yeah, the cover the is not roboty at all. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> but they're in the woods, so. But here's the thing, and and Laura yeah. can attest to this. I don't read the backs of books. I don't look in, into books. I don't. I just like I look at the cover and yeah, I go, that looks good. <laughs> So of course, when I opened the, when I logged this onto my thing, I just was like, oh, Echo, yeah, cool. So whatever. Uh, Mary's finishing up the second volume of Scales and Scoundrels, a graphic novel, nice. I've seen a lot that of people doing good. graphic novels and like doing 24 hours of reading graphic novels. Mm -hmm. So that's super fun. Awesome. Oh, it was your favorite last year? Oh, good, oh. I'm, I'm, it looks like oh. I am, uh-oh, downloading something. Oh, yeah, it looks like I'm 36% in, so I'm on chapter four. I just, it just switched to a different perspective. It was, I was in Germany, and now I'm in the United States somewhere, Pennsylvania, I think. Um, oh, you've been house shopping? That's fun, but yeah, this is this is a hard time to do do houses right now. Okay, still recovering. Oh, well, okay. he's definitely in our prayers. Let us know if there's anything we can specifically pray about. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Wait, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, cool gamer. Nice to see you. No. Yeah, definitely. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, now that we got everyone's reading figured out. Um, yes, thank you, Andy. Um, let's go ahead and do some reading sprints. I know it's only, it's been seven minutes and I'm already talking about actually putting a sprint up. Usually it takes me about 25 <laughs> minutes. Um, but I'm trying to be better. <laughs> the last couple sprints for me and on my channel too, like it's just, it's so bad. So I need to like put a timer on the chatting. <laughs> okay. Chris says <laughs> stable blood pressure and pain management. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So for everyone who is interested, that's what we're, oh. what we're looking for. So um, while I'm listening, so you'll see, I'm going to have some headphones on. I'm actually going to be making some tissue paper decorations. So once they're like, once I get there, you'll see what they look like. But um I have a one-year-old birthday party coming up next month, so I need to get into gear on some things. So that's what I'll be working on while I listen to Echo, a not robot move, uh, not robot book. <laughs> so, okay, I think 20 minutes has always been pretty good for us. Does as anyone opposed or think it should be more, more or less? Or I think 20 minutes has usually been pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take with anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is, uh, oh yeah, you have a one-year-old coming up too. Um, it's, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? And then it's like floral theme. So, um, everything's like floral. So like, the favors that I'm doing are just little seed packets with like a little, so it has a little message on it that just says, thank you for helping me grow. And then it says wonderful on there. And then, yeah, so these are the favors. Cause I mean, there's not going to be other, I mean, one-year-olds there or anything. So it's not like I need to make favor bags for them, but that's what I'm giving as the favor. What? So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Good. Oh. Yeah, By let me way. know if you're doing anything. Um, RSVP. Yeah. You're like coming in and out, Laura. So I heard something about R and then VP. So. <laughs> 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 so. 
It's all good. This is my Thanks. attitude. Here, um, you are coming? Good. Good. I'll mark you down. <laughs> um, if you're lucky, everyone, I might take pictures and or do some video of what it all turns out to be. I'm hoping I can get some stuff done. So, yeah. Okay. Well, see, there was three more minutes of me and chatting. So, okay, let's get this sprint going. <laughs> um, as always, Laura and I will mute ourselves. I'm actually going to put on another, like, reading background from our favorite Miss Mary's M pod. Um, I keep getting copyright dings for doing it, but not so much that it's, like, a bad thing. It's more or less just being like, hey, just so you know, there's copyrighted music on here, but it's okay because they let you do it. I'm like, okay, then don't ding me. Like, it's weird. It's not like a full ding. It's just like a little secret ding, but I don't care because it says it's <laughs> fine. So whatever. <laughs> okay. So we'll go up for 20 minutes. So we're at like the 45. So that'll bring us at the 05. Um, I'll put a little banner up here. One of these days, I have to figure out how to do an actual countdown timer because that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, there we go. And yeah, so good luck with your reading or your editing or whatever else you may be doing. Um, and we'll see you back in 20 minutes. Awesome.
Okay, believe it or not, that was 20 minutes. <laughs> Let's see here. So as you're coming on back, let us know how you did. Allie. Allie, Allie, Allie. That's okay. Work is important. And apparently overrated. <laughs> I was able to make one flower, which is pretty good because it's pretty big. So 
I don't know how many I have to make, but definitely more than one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim got to page 22, it looks like. So I'm wondering out there if anyone has one of those soda streams. Ours, like, sprays everywhere. Like, the first time we used it, it was fine. And ever since then, it leaks, like, really bad. So we're thinking that we may have to take it back and see, just get a different one. Maybe it's just this model. I don't know. Let me know if anyone has had a soda stream and if yours does the same thing. Um, Because I would like to know if it's just that's what they do, or if we can maybe just turn this one in and get a different one. Uh, like I said, Kim got to page 22. That's awesome. Just washed baby bottles. I know that life. It's like all day long. Mary folded laundry. Very good. That was what I was doing earlier today and yesterday. Never ends. Um, I'm at, I'm on chapter six now of Echo, and if you're familiar with the book, there's different people that, kids that you follow, and right now I'm following some boys that are at like a, a home for boys, and they are just about to play the piano. So we'll see where that takes us. Um, but I'm liking the audio book because it has like a little bit of musical layers to it. So like when they talk about something that they're going to play, they there's like a little interlude of that thing playing. So it's actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, I am enjoying it. Um, it's at the top. It is an act. It is an actual soda stream. So basically, when you put the let me show you. So when you put this bottle thing in it, you put it up, and I think you're supposed to screw it in, and then it shoots the carbonation into the bottle. It like from the top, it like. It, this stuff must come up too much and like starts to just spray like so it's always it always like it leaks everywhere so it's really bad um yeah I wouldn't call it like a leak from the actual machine it's more like it's forcing the liquid from the bottle up and then obviously out it's annoying but whatever I usually, and the other thing is, is like, I don't know if it's me because like, I don't do it. My husband will do it for me, but I make like a, I put the water in there and then I put one of the little like water bottle, like flavor packets in for a regular 16 ounce bottle. And that's more than 16 ounces. So whatever. So we're like, I don't know if it's like the sugar offsetting the carbonation, but it, it can't possibly be that. It's real annoying. Okay, so if we're over gassing it, how are we doing that? Because when you put it in there, you just press the button once and it's doing it itself. You know, maybe I should look it up on YouTube. Maybe I should look up a YouTube video of someone using this model and see what they do. Because, yeah, we don't have, we only press the button one time and it just does it every time. But that's good. I don't know if you heard me, hon, but someone thinks it's that we're over gassing it. I don't think he knows I'm talking to him. No. So. I'll look that up. Maybe I'll look that up. See, and that's what I thought too, like overfilling the bottle. But, oh, see, cause I, 
we thought you have to have the water up to here for, and it has to be able to touch it. But you're saying the wand doesn't need to actually be in the water. Huh. Yeah, yeah, ours is auto. So it has three functions. So there's like one drop, two drops, or three drops. So that's like how much carbonation you're going to do. And we always just do the middle one. And you just uh, touch it. Yeah. But yeah, if it doesn't have to, maybe we'll try that first. Maybe, I guess we'll see trial and error. I'm going to look it up on YouTube. Maybe that'll help too. So... Maybe that's right. How did you do, Laura? Um, good. I'm almost done. I was just about to like get a little choked up. I mean, this is really a sweet story, and I, I was like, "Oh God, I don't want to cry here." And I looked up, I'm like, "Oh, it's time. Okay, I have to cry." Right here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm almost done. That's crazy. I'm really Are you like excited it? to be done with the book club book before the end of the month. Yeah, very. It, and this is so sweet too. Aww. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited a... to read it. It's really I, nice. Very old fashioned. I don't know if I want to get it on audio or if I just want to go to the library. I say library. There's really nice illustrations in here. They're really lovely. Oh. Plus, an audio is going to be super, super quick, and like that's no fun. Says you. I know. But yeah, I, I really am liking it a lot. Awesome. Yeah. This stuff takes forever. Mm -hmm. But it'll be cute. I think I'm making these ones too thick. These pink ones. I think the paper is thicker on these ones. The white ones, I have white paper too. They're a lot thinner. But yeah. Have you read anything else this month? Um, I read our third Joanne Fluke. I finished that um, mm -hmm. last weekend, I think. I don't know mm -hmm. so much insomnia; it's hard to tell. Um, that was that was right, and then um, I think that's kind of it. I've had so much vertigo and dizziness and stuff that I really can't even have TV on a lot of the time. So, not a lot's happening on the reading front, but yeah, that's pretty much just those two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What else are you reading? I'm reading our, that third book in Hannah Swenson. I think I'm only on like chapter two. So I have to get back into that. Um, I read The Magic Mi Misfits, which I did a rapid review on my channel for that. That was pretty good. I liked that. Really reminds me of Lemony Snicket, the way it's written, which I find interesting because it's written by Neil Patrick Harris, and he plays Count Olaf. Yeah. in the series of fortune events on Netflix. So I wonder if he like just really enjoys Snicket's way of writing. And then when he started writing, it just seemed natural. It doesn't feel like it's not, I don't feel like it's like copying or anything. It's definitely it's in its own own way, but it just reminds me of that kind of author reader kind of conversation that is happening. Yeah. Um, but I think that's all I finished this month. Yeah, the Miss, yeah, I like read the Misfits on like the first day. And then I haven't, I don't think I've finished anything since then. Um, but I did restart London, as you know. Um, I think I got like 10 pages into that because as you recall. Primordial ooze. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Yeah. But it's nice because I'm I'm listening to it on Audible and following along. So it's a lot easier because with books like that where it's like really slow and like stuff I don't care about, I will like get lost in the words and have to go back because I, I, I'm re my head is reading, but my mind is going elsewhere. So it's nice that I'm following along. Um, and it's kind of fun because I'm like, recalling our reading of it so like I'm remembering certain things and like it's actually having me recall things that'll happen later in the book 
based on what's happening in the current section. So um, it's I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so that's nice. But yeah. Um, do, do, do. Let's see here. You unpacked and started the audiobook. That's right, Krista. You were just somewhere else in DC or something. You were with all your besties. I forgot about that. The night divided. Marlon Wall and family separate. Oh. Nice. And so then your middle grade March page. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> you just have comments. Are you referring to the which book are you referring to? Are you referring to London or are you referring to Mandy? I'm assuming it's because if you finished London. I'm seriously gonna cry a little bit. <laughs> uh, just casually read a thousand pages in a few days. Yeah, I just finished a thousand page book over the weekend. Yeah, no big. My gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think because Amanda was there, just it's she shares both sides. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, Katie's actually from our neck of the woods. And when I say our neck, I just mean our state. <laughs> and then Amanda's one over. So they should have picked us up on the way. <laughs> okay, good. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't possibly have finished that. That's insane. <laughs> You are not a super slow reader. You are no. always done before all of us. Mm -hmm. And that's a fact. Very true. That is a fact. Oh, boy. So, wait, did she? So, Allie, did you finish Mandy? I missed something I when think I was. I she did. Okay. All right. I think she did. Does anybody have any middle grade books that they're like really anticipating reading this month? And then secondary question, you may have seen this if you saw my Instagram stories, but I am looking for a really funny book. I want a really funny book to read, an adult book. Not like that kind of adult book. She means that kind of it's adult like book. like a fiction book. <laughs> Like not a young adult, not a middle grade, like a an adult fiction book. God, why when you say adult, it sounds like mm -hmm. you're like looking for something naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to read something funny, something laugh out loud funny, mm -hmm. fiction. Yeah, see, it's there. I know. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Oh. Now, is your dog okay? You had posted a picture with, I'm not sure if it's a him or her, but in like all sorts of bandages and stuff, what happened? And you have yet to tell us the the popo story. Um, if yeah. You know, you know. So we'll be looking forward to that in your boxer, if that's okay. If not, yeah. just say I can't share, and I'm okay with that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Hmm. I think the only middle grade I have already pulled I want to read this month is the one that Allie gifted, when she sent us that super nice package last year. It's um, in a train series. It's in my other room. I can grab it, though, and show you. Um, that's the only one I have pulled that I'm really looking forward to. But I have a whole shelf of middle grade that I just space on all the time but it doesn't help that it's over on the other side of the room and I don't really go in that corner that much so yeah I know my middle grade shelf is downstairs and I just end up putting books on it and then like walking away and never coming back mm -hmm. so when I did my shelf tour for today I was like oh yeah there's this book here oh yeah there's this book you have <laughs> to read this 
<laughs> that or they're like classic ones and I hide them in my classics area and then I go back and I'm like, why is this down here? This should be up somewhere else. So oh well there you go. I thought maybe she would call you and you'd have a conversation and then <laughs> she would she would read the book to you. I thought that's what you meant when I started reading that first line. Like if anyone wants to have Julie Andrews read Mandy to them, you just call this hotline and she right. answers. She calls you. I don't know why I'm remembering this now. And I think you're too young for this, Danny, but anyone else my age, like 40 or over, um, McDonald's used to have an 800 number you could call or the equivalent of that, like back in the eighties, you could hear a message from like Grimace or somebody. Do you remember this? And occasionally I think they would give you like a call or a free cheeseburger or something if you called. It, I remember, it, like, I don't know, it just came back to me now. It was a green piece of paper with some white writing on it, and you could call in as much as you wanted. And it was active for a long time because we kept it. I bet you it's still at my parents' house by the phone, um, actually. But does anyone else remember that? McDonald's number? You could call and, like, talk to Hamburglar and stuff? No? Okay. I don't remember that, but I remember Hamburglar and Grimace mm -hmm. were, like, two of my favorites. And I remember when we used to go to McDonald's and he would sit on the little like stools that were their heads. They're like yeah. burger heads and stuff. Those were cool. Those were really cool. I miss that. Yeah. I have FOMO for that series because everyone I know, like you and Krista and all these people have read it. So I have not read it. I thought you had. Oh, I know the kid has. Oh, I have it. So, right. so my stepdaughter has yeah. the entire series, and I, I, I have bought her the entire series because she's enjoyed it so much. And I keep meaning to read it and then never do. Um, and I mentioned it on the video, too, like, I need to read it soon because I'm sure she'll take it with her because she gets one of her favorite series. It's, she says it's really good. So, uh, yeah, I need to do that. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor thing. Oh, that's crazy. And I'm sure it's a lot different by you. I mean, as far as it, what happens to those stray dogs, because I, I'm assuming that there are more stray dogs where you live than where I live, but typically oh. it, if it happens where I live, those dogs get found and then put down. I don't know if it's the same, but so sad for any, I mean, to, to even have stray dogs out there, I mean, they must be starving, but your poor dog, did any of the, was it just, did your dog walker only have your dog or did any other dogs get hurt? Oh my goodness so sad see okay thank you mary <laughs> you're not crazy it happened it's a real thing <laughs> it's not just your mom giving you a piece of paper and your dad in the back like yeah right. i'm the hamburglar <laughs> right yeah this is grimace <laughs> <laughs> get your free burger <laughs> <laughs> yes let's do that uh Instagram me what your thoughts are and when you want to do that. We'll get it done. What did we read last time? Wasn't it really sad and depressing? Something about an orphan, I think. It was so good. Orphan Train. Didn't we read Orphan Train together? Was that you and me? I know I've buddy read with you before, but now I can't remember the book. I think it was Orphan Train. Oh my God, baby brain. Yeah. Okay, well, we're almost an hour in. We've only gotten one sprint in, so I think it's time for another one. Um, I'm going to keep going on Echo and these tissue paper things, and it sounds like you might be able to finish Mandy. Yep, for sure, and I'm going to either start reading uh, this book by Dara O'Brien about 
English people for the Irish readathon. I know this is like about England and he, I know he's Irish, but like I'm trying to read some of these like British celebrity like memoirs and it fits. So I'm working I'm working it in for the Irish readathon. So I might start this or I might start the book that Allie sent last year. I have to grab it the drink but i will for sure finish mandy yes and i, I might cry too so yeah. well if you all of a sudden walk away we won't we won't say anything no. i'm gonna have to walk away anyways to get a drink so you're gonna yeah. see my sweatpants and my slippers everybody <laughs> <I'm real glad. laughs> i thought it was orphan train i think at the same time i was reading orphan train with you i was reading sold on monday with amy from amy bowman or she, her channel is different now but um so I couldn't remember which one I read with you. Yeah, they, that is dangerous, but relevant here, Jimmy. That's awful, yeah. Oh, well, I hope he recovers quickly and is home with his mommy soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, they, dogs usually, they do not like being away from home. I'm sure as soon as he's home, he'll perk up and it'll be like a whole different recovery. So, okay. Well, let's get this going. We'll just pretend like it's 30. So we'll do 20. So we'll come back at the 50. A couple of extra minutes in there, but that's okay. There we go. And I'll do what we did last time. I will mute myself and.
Thank you.
Doggly. I'm back here. I'm gonna have to plug my computer in soon. That's okay. How'd you do? Did you cry? I did, yes, quite a lot. More than <laughs> I expected because I knew what was happening, but I still made me cry a lot. <laughs> That's okay though. It was very good. Well, that's good. Yeah. And then I got 22 pages in of Dara O'Brien. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think I'm almost to the 50% spot. Nice. I started at 40. I think I'm I'm just almost there. So I'm about 50% into the book. It's good. I mean, I feel like... At this point of the book, I really just don't know where it's going from where it started. Like, I'm not quite sure how these three, because, so I've read two different people's, like, stories so far. I haven't gotten to the third, but I know there's a third. Mm -hmm. And somehow they're supposed to intertwine, and I don't, I just don't know how that happens. Hmm. So... That'll be interesting when it does. Yeah. <laughs> Chris got all her clips put into her vlog. Nice. She needs to edit. Nice. Oh, you do need to go to bed. You do. You are on the East Coast. So, yeah, you, it's late. I think it's later there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, thank you for joining us. It's always nice to see your beautiful face. Very nice to have you here. And yeah for Jordan too so yes absolutely um yeah I got two flower two more flowers made so here's one okay. and the other one and these ones are kind of like I'm making like so they're like half flowers because then I can just like put them yeah. down or whatever and I mean depending on where I put them you probably won't be able to see the back side mm -hmm. but I realized if I made it too thick it explodes. Oh. So, yeah. Because the staple doesn't stay. So, yeah. But they're pretty. I like them. This one's kind of cool because I didn't realize it, but there's a two, there's two tones of pink in this one. So, it's kind of cool. I don't know why it did that. It's one pack of pink. should all be the same color, but apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Start listening and reading. It skips a bit of the book, but it is good. So what you're saying is like the audiobook is like abridged. That's weird because it's a middle grade book. It's not that long. Right. Hmm. I have noticed that though, like some audiobooks are like abridged and I'm always like, why? It's an audiobook. Like, why are you abridging this? But then, it, like on Hoopla, it'll have like the abridged version, but it won't have the full version. Yeah. So, like when I was looking for the other Boleyn Girl, they had the abridged version on Hoopla. And I'm thinking, like, why would you listen to the abridged version of something like that? Like, and what do they cut out? I know. Who decides what stays and what goes? Yeah. Isn't that an interesting topic? Like, it's a it's a fiction book. So like don't you think if you cut stuff out like 
why is it there in the first place? I don't know. It's weird. I don't like, I don't think I've ever read an abridged version of anything just for that matter of like, what am I missing? Yeah, I have a few times. And I think the three times I've done it, the two times I did it purposefully because it was for like a really, really long classic. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm, I just want to finish this book and like have read it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think one was like a Russian classic by some author. I couldn't even tell the name right now. Anyways, so I did that twice. And then once I didn't know it was a bridge. And I was like, why is this only six hours? This seems like way too short. It's 400 pages. It wasn't until the end. But it says like, this is a bridge version of blah, blah. I'm like, oh. not there in anything. On the front, on the cover, it was an audio CD. Did it say anything about being abridged? I was like, well, son of a. Great, thanks. So, yeah. Candy for Chunky Classics is about it. Yeah. Sorry, my dog's doing something weird, so. Hmm. Yeah, that's really strange. Hmm. Don't. Your dad is coming to let you out. Go away. He's coming. No, get down. Get down. Sorry, everyone. That's my dog needing to go outside. And I'm in the room where the door is. Uh, he's coming. He's, he's under the high chair. He's coming. Go on. Oh. We're going to have to let our dog down or put our dog down soon. Not Dwight, but Kingston. He's, he's going fast. So Aaron's going to be calling about that in the next week or so just to find out what the process is because that's not good. Yeah. yeah. Kingston's not doing well at all. So, anywho, um, yeah. Hmm. Well, but I mean, if you heard it straight from Julie Andrews' mouth, I'm assuming she read the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, or she would know what to omit, you know. Yeah. He he so I'm sitting on our dining room table and he jumps up and he like does this on my side to like like he's like pawing at me to make him help him go outside. So that's what he what he was doing. But he was doing it all on my side and now I have garbage all over me. That actually might be the tissue paper, but yeah, that's what he was doing. <sighs> He's such a jerk. <laughs> oh, good night, Kim. Good night, you're Kim. welcome. I hope you feel better. Yeah, glad you're home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's sad. Yeah, for both of my cats, I just called and. We took them the same day because I like I, I knew it was time and like that's that I'm not effing around. It's not yeah. fair. We're going. We're just mm -hmm. going. So Yeah. I know we were just talking about it the other day and you know, you have he has like moments of like, oh he's fine, but it's like not enough to yeah. qualify for like it's fine. Like it's it's bad. So we just gotta figure it out. Because obviously we don't want them to like just linger mm -hmm. in this state he's in. So gotta do what you gotta do. Do 
Do you remember that movie? Um, thank you, Mary. Um, all Dogs Go to Heaven. Oh, I never saw it. We used to watch that movie all the time. And I'm only realizing now, like, I think all the dogs die in that bo- movie because they all go to heaven. That's why I never watched it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I never, I, I, I don't think I ever really put that together in my head. <laughs> When I was watching that movie, but I loved that movie. <laughs> yeah, I even when I was a little kid, I, I knew I couldn't take it. Yeah, no, I, it, it clearly was not connecting where it yeah. should in my brain because <laughs> I think about that movie all the time, and I'm thinking, yeah, I think at the end they're all like hopping through the clouds and stuff, and yeah. like yeah, happy, <laughs> and I'm like, but the only way to get there. You got it. To not be in the land of the living. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, no, I love that movie. I think Dom DeLuise does one of the voices or something. It's really popular. Yeah. That's funny. Mm hmm. Yeah, I won't watch it now, obviously, because I don't know. I always, I think for me, it reminded me of like a female version of Oliver and Company Mm -hmm. when that movie came out. And maybe that's why I was just like, yeah, this is a band of dogs doing fun stuff. And then at the end, they look (laughs) a lot cleaner with halos on their heads. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how old I was when I saw this movie and loved this movie, but <laughs> that's what I remember. Classic. <laughs> you remember McDonald's phone lines? I remember dog dead dog movies, so. I'll take mine very much. <laughs> Speaking of 80s movies that were creepy, did you ever see the movie Mac and Me? No, because that little alien thing scared me. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not watching this. That thing is so creepy. <laughs> no, My yeah. brothers love that movie. Every time we're watching it and they're like sliding down the hill in the whatever. And he's just like, Rah! it's like, oh, this thing is so no. ugly. <laughs> they have no. like huge eyes and stuff. <laughs> the boys I kind of babysat a lot. My neighbors, like, <laughs> they, were, they were terrible. Let's just be honest, but like, what do you guys want to watch? You want to this, this, or this? And like, Mac and me was a thing, and they're like, "Oh no, that thing is creepy." I was like, "Thank God, I don't want to yeah. watch that there." But they had it. But you know, ET. Yeah, I was, was pretty great, I except when he was like all white and shriveled up in the river. Ugh. That always scared me. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't like ET. I'm a terrible '80s kid. <laughs> oh, I liked ET. It was really sad and it freaked me out. Yeah. Yeah. But Close Encounters of the, of the third kind or of, fifth kind, whatever that is, that was fine. I watched that and that was fine. I don't think I've seen that movie in, a, in its entirety. Oh, yeah. It's only long. seen like some of the iconic scenes. Yeah, it's long. It's very slow. Yeah. It's good, but I rewatched it a few years ago and I was like, wow, Um, anytime now, like, let's pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah. I like the brave little toaster and batteries not included. Yeah, I know I saw batteries not included, but I don't remember it. And brave little toaster, I only watched once because I was crying so hard. Oh. Yeah. 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 Eighties and nineties nostalgia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Batteries not included was always good, and it has the old lady from Fried Green Tomatoes in it. So that's why I always really wanted to watch it is because I really liked her. And granted, I was still like a kid, but yeah, that was good. That was real good. Probably not a kid's movie, realistically. No. I don't think it was bad. No, but it was like pitched towards kids a little bit, you know, like PG, you know, wasn't it PG, PG 13 maybe? Well, and the ratings have changed quite a bit, like... 
even think- Disney movies, like where they, at the time they were rated G, mm-hmm. they really should be PG because mm-hmm. like half of them include death. Yeah. Like, like Snow White, for instance, I think is rated was rated G when it came out, but since then it has been rated PG because the witch dies, like they throw her off a cliff. Yeah. So, and the huntsman attempts to murder Snow White <laughs> in the beginning. So, but thankfully, a lot of Disney movies are going away from the whole murder. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, but yeah. I still find it weird, though, that in some cases, like, there's just really unexplained things. Like, so I've been watching a lot of Disney movies lately, obviously. And I never noticed this before, but where is Andy's dad in Toy Story? That's never explained. Like, it's just his mom and then his baby sister, which... My husband just added a comment there. Um, But no dad and no, like, reference to where this dad is. So it's weird. And then they, like, move at the end of the movie. It's weird. I don't understand. Not that you need a dad, but it'd be nice if, like, they explained it. (laughs) Yeah, I don't remember that You know, if you... Seriously, if you need a spoiler alert for for, for <laughs> Snow White, <laughs> oh, Ellie. that movie came out in like 1939. Okay, I've left enough room. <laughs> you cannot too soon me on that. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> and a little Q and A. It was Hitler's favorite movie. So that's telling you something. Mm -hmm. Creepy man. Um, But yeah, there's a lot of movies from back in the day that if you watch them now, you're like, that is not a kid's movie. Or like there's certain like things that I'm like, yeah, I never noticed that before, but that is not kid friendly. The Fox and the Hound, I had that on a book and 45, like together as an, I would read a story to you. And when you flip to the second side, I would stop listening because a, that's when the bear comes to attack. And then shortly after, someone doesn't make it. And I, I listened to it one time and I was sobbing. And my mom was like, oh my God, you know, I couldn't handle it. And then she was like, do you want to watch the movie? And I was like, no, 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 no. But we finally watched the movie and I had, I, I couldn't take it. Yeah, I, I knew what I, was coming. I couldn't. I'm like, no, this is not a kids movie. This is it's horrible, no. horrible. Mm-hmm. I think I only watched that movie one time, so I can't even recall it because that's so much I hated it. It's like, <laughs> no, I don't want anything to do. I don't want anything to do with that. It's kind of cute at the beginning, but even so, the owner is hurt. so mean, so mean to the dog, so mean to the fox. And I remember asking my parents, like, why is he so mean? Why does he have this dog? Like, I don't understand. It's like, my dog was my sister, essentially. Like, <laughs> you know, pets are family members in my house. And like, I don't, what? I don't, it was, yeah, horrible. Horrible, yeah. horrible. Yeah. Okay, listen up, Mary and Allie. <laughs> you have had plenty of time. In the title. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a warning. <laughs> Don't come to the show if you haven't watched anything from the 80s or 90s. <laughs> it is. Can't stand it. Oh, horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even like, so I know that these movies are like more for teenagers and stuff, but even like all of like the Brat Pack movies, mm-hmm. like, the themes and like the stuff that they're like doing in there. I'm just like, this is not for like, this is not what high school students do or are trying to do. Like, this is bad. Like, (laughs) 
pretty in pink and uh, 16 candles. And I'm like, huh. Because <laughs> as a kid, like <laughs> when I was a kid, when they're in the car and here's a spoiler, just case, just case, spoiler, you've not seen 16 candles. Mm-hmm. When Farmer Ted's in the car with the girlfriend and she starts putting like those oh, yeah. in his mouth yeah, and he thinks they're mints. Mm-hmm. And then she explains what they are, which spoiler alert, they're birth control pills. Even when she says that, when I was a kid, I, I was like, they're mints. <laughs> like, just like, totally passed over me, like, whatever. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, I love those movies. They're the best. So. Breakfast Club. Oh, man. Except I always hated the scene in the Breakfast Club where Molly Ringwald's character, character Claire, whatever her name is, goes into the closet where the boy is and like kisses his neck. I was like, that is the most awkward, like so awkward situation. And then he's just like, why did you do that? Or something like that. And just so like, oh, mm-hmm. I don't know. That was cringeworthy for me. I was like, this is weird. Like, why did you just do that? I don't like it. <laughs> Even now as an adult, I can't. I'm like, that, that's dumb. Oh, good night, Jess. Well, good night, Jess. Thanks for being with us for so long. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler. Well, it's about 1015 Wisconsin time. Um, I think I could do one more sprint. Are you up for one more sprint? Yep. That's okay. fine. But yeah, I could do one more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do, we will do, uh, one more sprint and then we'll come back and chat, uh, our goodbyes and whatnot. But just so if you're aware and you're wanting to head to bed, um, we will see you next time. Um, here we go, Andy. Google dad, Andy's dad. Oh, there's a whole theory. Wow. He is dead, though. How do you know he's dead? I'm going to have to look it up now. Do I care that much? Okay. Nah. He's dead. <laughs> Looks like Mary's heading to bed. You're okay. welcome. You're welcome for all the spoilers. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I probably won't finish my book, but I, I'm hoping to finish this section. Mm-hmm. And maybe then the next time I read, I'll be embarking in the third story. So, yeah. Okay, so, and I'm going to have to plug in my computer, too. So you might see my, me pop out for a second. Um, but, yeah, so let's let's pretend we're at the 15 and we'll go then to the 35 i'll put up banner and get all of our stuff ready and we will see you in 20 minutes
That's our sprinting for this evening. For those of you that are still with us, I know we had a few people go off to bed. Let us know what you were able to accomplish this evening. I think I'm at 56% in my book. Nice. Um, I'm still in the same story, but I think it's coming to a close pretty quick here. So nice. Still pretty good, I mean, but I'm still really not understanding where it's going to go, which is nice. I mean, you don't always have to know um, all the way through. So, how are you doing? I'm good. So, tonight I finished Mandy. That was about 75 pages. And I got uh, 56 pages read in the Star O'Brien book. So, that's not bad. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What's funny is that this was published in, well, not funny, like whatever, 2009 this was published. And I've seen a lot of the clips from the show he's talking about, he's traveling around doing right now. So he's talking about these jokes and I know these jokes, like that's sort of funny to me. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost finished page 200. Nice. Mm -hmm. And she just started that tonight. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Good night. Good night, Andy. Move to Stalis. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you went less city, though. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, Allie's so close to finishing. Oh, interesting. Ooh, you and your nonfiction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should read more nonfiction. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Both areas are pretty nice. I mean, they're your surrounding areas, so I mean, you're in them every day. Yep. My mom lives in New Berlin's where I grew up, and Waukesha's where I went to college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm in New Berlin all the time. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Well, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. cool. Well, yeah, I think we'll call it a night then. Um, oh. I feel like this was successful. How many sprints did we have? Three? Two? I think, four? I think three. Man. I read the, in the living room and then I had to move and I was here for two. Wow. So two hours and we still only got three? Mm-hmm. That's only an hour. So we did an hour of chatting and an hour of reading. <laughs> I need to get better. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, relatively speaking, it's all close enough that it's not like you're that far right. away. My mom lives an hour and a half away from me. So, and she insists on coming for like dinner sometimes. So like she'll drive all the way up here. Like driving to her is like nothing. To me, I'm just like, oh, yeah, mm -mm. no, that's, a, that's far. <laughs> but I don't like to drive across town either, so. My husband always laughs. He's like, that's not across town. It's the same side of town. I'm like, no, it's not. I have to go under the highway. That means it's across town. <laughs> I 
I'm terrible. But anywho, yes, let's let's all go to bed. Um, thank you all for joining us. If you were in the new products um, launch, all that is available now, so you don't have to wait until tomorrow. Um, and I have posted the uh, voting options both in the uh, new products video as well as on my community tab. So they're available in both of those places. Mine's I, up. And you, you were able to put yours up. So they're in all three places. So that's all available as well. So awesome. Okay. Well, I think we're going to call it a night, folks. Everyone have a good one. And we'll see you in two weeks. So, good night. Bye, everyone. Thanks.